last year, Ray made this beautiful concrete border for my flower bed for me. And then we put down the shade cloth and the rocks to keep the weeds out. So he's working on another one for me today in front of the deck that we had built. The first thing that we did is he got this board from Home Depot. What, it, what kind of board is that that you got from Home Depot? Just a really thin veneer, some kind of wood veneer thing. And he had them cut it into strips. How many inches are the strips? Five inches wide. Five tall. inches wide. <clears throat> so then he got stakes and what he what we did is we dug out this little trench area along the flower bed and that's gonna be where the concrete goes. So he's putting down these stakes along the edges and then this board here will be fitted along it and nailed to the stakes to form, uh, to make a form to put the concrete in. So now that he's got in some of the stakes and around the curves, he tends to put in a little bit more stakes just to hold the frame in. Then he's using his drill to attach <coughs> These says, he's got these says screws to attach the five inch board to the stakes and that's going to be forming the outside part of the frame. In some areas you might want to use the level just to make sure you've got it close. It's probably going to depend on your land too. I think that's going to be pretty close right there. When he's putting in the screws into the stakes, one thing he does is he drills a hole in first so not to crack the frame. But another thing that Ray does is when he gets to a point where he's going to be adding a new five inch form piece he leaves the um, area so he can screw in both pieces into the stake. That way there won't be a gap in the concrete when you put in the concrete. When he starts to put it in the inside wall of the frame, he's got this little piece of wood that he cut that's going to be his template to just put in and to make sure he's got it the width that he needs. He can use that tool all the way down to, to make sure that the width stays the same for the length of the concrete. Another thing that he does is he makes sure that two sides are level as he's putting it in so that the concrete will be level at the edge as it goes around. The framework is in. It looks really nice because all the way around to the edge here and put it up to the post underneath the deck and we'll finish it up tomorrow with putting the concrete in. The next part is mixing the concrete and pouring it into the frame. We mix the concrete, we just mix it in a wheelbarrow right here. I'll show you on the next load 
the Ray mixes how it's done. And then he shovels it into the form. And for the concrete section, Ray mixes one bag of the concrete mix in the wheelbarrow at a time. I might need to clean it up a little bit. Um, Once he's got the water in, he takes a hoe to mix it up. Once the concrete <clears throat> is fully mixed, which takes a little bit of time, Shovel it into your form. So Ray has used one, this is one bag. So <clears throat> he made it five inches deep and six inches across. So you can kind of see how big of an area one bag will care will cover not as much as yeah not as much as we thought yeah. so he's put in two bags so once he gets it all in and it's filled up to the top he kind of goes in first and kind of smooths it down and levels it up with the last bag where the last bag ended. He goes from one bag to another. He kind of slopes it down from the first bag and then adds the second bag on top of that so it doesn't leave a distinct line where one bag ends and another bag starts. Okay, I kind of want you to see how this part where he finishes out one bag and he's going to put in another. He leaves that angle going down. And so then the next layer will just lay right on top of that and smooth. And go toward the empty spots. There's this part so you can see how he's got it smoothed and angled down. And here is the finished product with plants. And mulch turned out beautiful.